Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another Sheetify tutorial. Today's focus is to show you how you can create and leverage a Gantt chart inside of Google Sheets. I'll be covering three methods that you can use to create as well as use a Gantt chart or timeline view inside of Google Sheets. The first is how you can use the Google Sheets timeline feature, which is a relatively new feature. The second method is using a Gantt chart template. And the third will be using our Sheetify projects toolkit, which is our powerful project and task management toolkit that we built for small businesses and that we created with Google Sheets and App Script. Firstly, what exactly is a Gantt chart? Basically, a Gantt chart or visual timeline is a project management view displaying project or task schedules in a visual horizontal bar like chart or timeline chart. This allows for a visual representation of task or project durations. Okay, so diving into the first method, you can see that I have data in here. This could be, let's say, a project and these are tasks that have a priority status an assigned owner, we have statuses over here that we can change, and then a start date and end date, as well as other values I can add over here if I like. I actually use Gemini to quickly create this table. Now, what I can do is highlight the data, for example, these tasks over here and all of these details, and you wanna make sure that you have a duration. Here we have a start date and end date. Then to create your own dynamic Gantt chart or timeline view, simply navigate up to insert and then locate timeline. Here you want to highlight your data. I've already gone ahead and done that. Click on OK. And as you can see, a new sheet will be generated. And this is a timeline view. And you can see these different cards along here. If I click on a card, I can see more details about that specific card, that timeline, inside my Gantt chart. We can also make edits. For example, I can navigate down to Edit Card Color Settings. And then here we need to choose a column where the card color will come from. So I'm going to select column A. And then what I can do is click here on this card, navigate down to Card Color, and change the card color. And I can do that with all of these different cards. Simply click on the card, navigate down to Color, and change the color. And as you can see, we now have a visual timeline. I can change the timeline duration from years to quarters. If I click on quarters, I can select months as well as weeks and days. Let's click on years again. We can change the layout from comfortable to condensed. And again, we have settings. Now, if we navigate back over to sheet one, which has all our data, you can see that the colors have been added under column A. Now, if I change any of these details, that's also going to change the details inside our timeline. Also, if we navigate up to settings, we can navigate down to card details and we can display the details we want to show. Column C, column F, column B. Okay, let's close out of this. And again, that's how you can quickly create a responsive Gantt chart or timeline view from your Google Sheets data. Hey, just quickly, before we get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance. And with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. Let's navigate back over to sheet one. Now we can also navigate up to file and let's go ahead and open up a new template, a new Google Sheets template from the template gallery. Under general, what we can do is navigate down to project management and click on one of these Gantt chart or timeline views. Here we have a Gantt chart template. Down here, you can simply add your own details. For example, task title, task owner, the task date, as well as the due date. And then you can manually add your visual timeline over here. Again, this is a template that you can leverage. However, it is manual and you will have to manually add the color to the timeline view and then make changes over here. Now, the third method, as I mentioned, is using Sheetify projects. This is our powerful Google Sheets project management toolkit. And if you're interested in learning more about Sheetify projects and all the tools and features that you have access to, I will add a quick overview down below in the description as well as a comprehensive tutorial. Essentially here you can manage your projects. Under tasks, you can manage all your tasks related to projects. Then we have a dashboard view to help you analyze your project performance. And then under timeline, we have a Gantt chart and we've built two different view types we can select days or weeks and that's going to automatically populate on the right hand side let's navigate back over to view and click on days then we can choose the project down here for example let's select this project here this project only has one task let's select another project focus group which has eight tasks these are the task groups here we have the task name the assignee of the task the task status start date and due date and then the working days over here for example, with this task over here, which is overdue, the working days are five days. 
That's because this project, this task, starts on a sad day and ends on a sad day, meaning that there are only five working days. We can see the task cost as well as the effort spent on that task. And all these details and the timeline details, all this data has been taken and generated from this tasks interface. If we make any changes here, those changes will auto populate under timeline. Essentially, this gives you a visual snapshot of your task and project performance. You can see quick details of each of your tasks assigned to specific projects, as well as the visual timeline view over on the right hand side. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this tutorial showing you how you can create and leverage Gantt charts inside of Google Sheets using three methods. Again, if you're interested in learning more about our Sheetify toolkits, or in particular our Sheetify project management toolkit, I will add the relevant resources and tutorials down below in the description to help you learn more about this powerful project management toolkit that offers a powerful Gantt chart view. Thanks again for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.